What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today we're going to be opening up three uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Gold Series Haunted Mine mini boxes for you guys. So that's what I call them. They're basically where you get a uh, big booster pack in each one of these that includes uh, 25 cards per pack, and also you get a gold uh, ghost rare out of these. So, since we're not seeing ghost rares in main sets anymore, same with ultimate rares, I guess, you know, we can get this set and at least get guaranteed ghost rares. So that's the reason I like these anyway. So, let's go ahead and open these up and uh, see what we can get from them. But yeah, they're different from Premium Gold, if you don't remember the older Gold series. Like, it's actually a big booster pack. It's not like three separate packs or whatever. And so, they're kind of funny on that, and they actually uh, have commons and stuff in these older ones. Like, you get quite a few. I guess, what, 22 commons then, I guess, technically, because you're getting three hollows. Pretty interesting. So yeah, there's the booster pack for it. A lot of packaging, really, just for that, so it's kind of funny to see that. Always seems kind of wasteful. But, whatever. Alright, so first off we have uh, Call the Mummy. That's actually pretty good. Also, uh, Dawn of the Herald. Those are two really good cards. You get Pyramid Turtle. Uh, Zombie Master. That might come in handy now with Vendreds. Pick up one of those. And, alright, let's see what we have for our first Hollow. And it is a uh, Missile Space Typhoon. That's the Ghost Rare. Okay, I didn't know if the Ghost Rare was the first one or the last one of the Holographics. So, that looks pretty cool. I, I do like uh, Ghost Rare Missile Space Typhoon. It, it does look neat. We also have Formula Synchron. That's one of the better cards we get from this, too. And uh, Fabled uh, Grimro. Not bad. Pretty good choices. Book of Life, as well. Some of the Dark Scorpions. Yeah, they're all in this, too. A Lady in White. That's actually a pretty good one to get now. Anything else? Not really. But there we go. Mystical Space Typhoon is probably one of the better Ghost Rares to get, though. I think the best one, the most expensive one, is Blue Eyes. Because you can get Blue Eyes White Dragon. Is it the... Is it the tablet artwork, or is it the earth artwork, or whatever? It's one or the other. I think it might be the tablet one. I don't know. If we get it, we'll see. <laughs> Hope I get one. Alright, so here's the other booster pack. Starting off with Call the Mummy again. Like I said, that's actually pretty good. Remember when that was kind of a pain to go up against <laughs> back in the day? Don Zalug. I still like it when he has the guns instead of the swords, although either art works pretty neat. Zombie Master again, not bad. And, okay, what are we starting off with? Is it? And yeah, we actually got Blue Eyes White Dragon! That looks awesome! Is it the tablet? Yeah, it's the tablet artwork! Okay, I thought it was. It's really tough to see. I don't know if you guys can see in the background. I'm kind of trying to get the camera just right. Yeah, you can kind of see the tablet right there. That is awesome, too! And like I said, that's the best card of the set! It does look amazing. I wish we'd get a Dark Magician like this. I know that uh, Japan has recently, you know, they got their uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, the original art, as a Ghost Rare. Of course, original art, Dark Magician as a Ghost Rare, and also Red Eyes. And even if you go to Worlds, they had uh, Dark Magician Girl as a Ghost. So, I would love it if they printed those over here for us, because that'd be amazing. But, at least you can get a Blue Eyes White Dragon as a Ghost Rare. Also, we have Starlight Road. And Dark Hole. Not bad. That's pretty good. But yeah, I got Blue Eyes, so I'm happy. I mean, that pretty much uh, pays for your, uh, like, mini box or whatever. <laughs> I, I feel weird calling it a pack, because it's I guess it's technically a pack, but it's really not either. I don't know. And now we're down to our last uh, mini box. What can we get? Can we end with something awesome? Let's see. Maybe another Blue Eyes, even. Heck, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I used to call these actually like packs, and I've done that in the past, but then people actually think like uh, like premium gold, like the mini packs. So it doesn't really make sense for these. So let's see. Last one. I'm trying to think what the other ghost rares are. I guess Gores was also in this. Got Dark Scorpions and everything. There's Don Zaluke again. Bone Crusher. I always thought he looked cool. Zombie Master. Got another one, so can't go wrong with that. Fear from the Dark, and it looks like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is in the set, too. I just remembered. Herald of Perfection. There we go. That's the other really good ghost rare you get from this. I was like... I saw it was rich. I was like, wait a minute. He is in this set. I, I always forget that for some reason. Uh, yeah, we actually got Herald of Perfection. That looks awesome. Again, ghost rare, so... Can you guys see it pretty well? I don't know. It's hard to get the angle just right on ghost rares. But, yeah, you can kind of see it pretty well. You see my camera. Even in my ceiling fan in the background. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that looks awesome. And that's another one of the better cards you get from the set. Very nice. Also, uh, Bronic uh, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. That's good. And Master Hyperion. Well, I guess that will come in handy maybe in the future since we're going to get the new uh, Fairy Structure deck pretty soon. Or may maybe it's a few months, I guess. But still, that's pretty cool to get that. And anything else? Apple Whammer? I, I like that card. Just an older one that looks cool. I always thought it was kind of scary, though. Right, Yukoki, Lady in White. And, yeah, there we go. I mean, 
we did well out of all three boxes, really. I mean, we probably got three of the better uh, Ghost Racers you can get, because Mystical Space Typhoon, I mean, that's always good because it's freaking Mystical Space Typhoon. There you go. Uh, Blue Eyes, again, because Blue Eyes, and also Hair to Perfection, one of the best ritual monsters out there. I know Olynthia will definitely, yeah, I'm sure he has more than a playset of those, but I know he'll be happy about seeing that, too. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. We do a lot of older openings like today. And then also, of course, anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! is English or Japanese. I do openings on that as soon as it's released. And, uh, of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment. Tell me other openings you guys want to see in the future. And real quick, I know I've been saying this in a lot of videos lately, but I feel like I still need to say it. Uh, I've still been hearing from a lot of people that uh, they have, even though they're subscribed to my channel, they're not getting notified when I upload a new video. Well, to help with that, if you hit that bell icon next to the subscription button, that's supposed to notify. You'll be like at the up at the top right of the YouTube page next to your username. It'll show like a little number that will appear in red, and that should actually notify you whenever I upload a video or anyone that you hit that bell icon for. So. That should help out. And of course, if that still doesn't work, I've said this before too, you could even like bookmark or favorite my uh, YouTube channel page, and uh, that way you can just check it yourself, you know, if you want to. So yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. I'm hoping YouTube though will work a lot of this out. I just keep bringing it up because, well, if enough of us bring it up, maybe it'll fix it for a lot of different creators. I know I'm definitely not the only creator for it. I know there's a lot of people with way more subscribers that are dealing with this too. And I'm really hoping they'll, you know, if you subscribe to a person, you want to see their content. And I hope that will continue. I'm even having trouble with different people I'm subscribed to. So hopefully one of these days they'll fix that. But I'm just telling you guys some different options if you want to make sure you don't miss a video. So sorry for the long outro. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. And I will catch you guys later. See you.